This is the Great Pyramid of Giza, one of the most impressive construction feats in history. And this is how much building materials Belgium wastes in one year. The Netherlands, the UK, France, and the EU. That's right, in spite of high environmental ambitions and advanced recycling technologies, we reduce entire pyramids of building materials to rubble every year and the amount is continually increasing. For millennia, the main construction material was common sense. Every usable rock, brick or piece of timber was precious and used and reused as long as possible. In today's cities, a good location has far more value than the building on it. When a building no longer fits its purpose, too often it is demolished and newly built. Investment-wise, this might make sense, but the collateral impact is huge. Most construction materials weigh heavily on the environment. Raw materials are extracted, ecosystems affected, and greenhouse gases emitted throughout production and the entire logistics chain. Recycling only solves part of the problem. It consumes energy too, and most recycled materials have limited applications. Not all types of waste can be recycled. Some of it is incinerated, while another fraction is still landfilled, and yet, it doesn't have to be that way. Preserving and improving existing buildings is certainly the best way to go. But when this is not possible, there is another alternative to straightforward demolition. To carefully dismantle buildings that really need to go so that their components become available for reuse, not only recycling. The list of materials that can be fully removed and locally refurbished is almost endless. Bricks, natural stone and timber can be salvaged from small residential buildings, while bigger office buildings can yield doors, glass partitions, sanitary equipment, tiles, metallic profiles, insulation materials, technical equipment. Applying dismantling more widely means a larger array of reclaimed building materials becomes available. And these can be reintegrated in new constructions or refurbishments. As a result, less raw materials are consumed, less waste is produced. Moreover, selective dismantling supports local economy and helps preserve our cultural heritage. Today, only 1% of all building materials are reused. Making that amount grow will require a concerted effort. All stakeholders within the building industry will have a role to play. Erecting buildings that contain the highest possible percentage of reused elements is common sense, as our ancestors have proven. Making this possible again might well be the most impressive construction feat of our age. In any case, it's the way to go.